Hey guys, it's Vinny91, and I'm talking about the Xbox Series S. Now, I know that there has been a lot of rumors and whatnot. I've been ignoring most of them. There's just been so many rumors for both the Xbox, like Series S and the PS5. But this one has a bit more weight, even though it's still just a rumor. It, I can't count it as definite because it comes from Tom Warren, who is a senior editor down at The Verge, which is a technology news website. He, he retweeted a tweet at Tweaktown which shows both the specs of the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. With the Xbox Series S, yes, there are a significant amount of differences, like with the SSD, with the GPU, with the amount of RAM, and whatnot. But actually, the fact that they're able to keep the CPU the same is pretty good. And really, since it's not playing 4K games, it probably doesn't need all that stuff that the Xbox Series X would need. Now, to me, if this is coming out, this is very smart because... The Xbox Series S would be for like the people, not even for casuals. It's not even one of those things. It's just for people who maybe don't have 4K monitors. Now, I looked at a recent poll or a recent like statistics on Statistica, which shows that in 2018, about 31% of people owned 4K TVs. It's probably more now, but it means that I think the predominant people still probably own like just full HD or 1080p or maybe even less than that TVs or whatnot where they play their games on. So I, th I think that them having something that isn't 4K is actually really smart because it's going to appeal probably to a lot of gamers who just don't own a 4K TV. Like you don't own a 4K TV, you buy the Xbox Series X. It's not that it's useless, but it's kind of a waste of money if you don't own a 4K TV in my opinion because you're not really taking advantage of all that stuff that you're paying for. But with the Xbox Series S, if you're someone who really doesn't care that much about physical games, or at least having the option to play physical games, or even, I guess, 4K Ultra HD movies, then it may be right for you. Because the thing is that not everyone has a 4K monitor or a 4K TV, so it makes sense for Xbox to still kind of appeal to that audience. And they're basically going to have this, not alone, because obviously Nintendo Switch is still not 4K, but they're not going to have the PS5 to really compete in that market, because the PS5, as far as we know, P PlayStation could surprise us. They could bring out a uh, non-4K system, and they could be like, hey, 250, or something like that. But as far as we know, if this Xbox Series S really does come out, then they're going to kind of, other than Nintendo Switch, going to be on their own. Now, the biggest thing is price. Will this Xbox Series S, if they do it for like $399, no, it's done. Because I, I don't think that the PS5 digital is going to be much more than that, if any. So... I don't think that I, I think two ninety nine would have to be the least amount. I really think two forty nine ninety nine would probably be the goal price for this. If my, if if I was being honest, because with the lack of four K and everything, I just think that making it like if Xbox Series X is four ninety nine ninety nine, making it like half the price would really cause these units to fly off shelves to sell well. Because if the PS five doesn't come out with something that competes with the Xbox Series S. I think the PS5 All Digital Edition probably going to be around $399.99. And that would cause a lot of people to go instead for the Xbox Series S. Because they're like, hey, yeah, the PS5 All Digital is a lot more powerful. But the Xbox Series S, I don't own a 4K TV or I'm not, I don't really 4K game that much. I really play on 1080p or whatever. So I might as well get the Xbox Series S since it's a lot cheaper. So price, I think, is going to be really important. But only God really knows how this is going to turn out. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that these specs are true and that the Xbox Series S really is coming out. Let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe. God bless you all.